Hello friends, Chris here, cooking with Chris today. We're on the road. Today we're at Two Black Sheep here in Hamilton, Ontario. Guys, we're gonna be doing something with oysters. Let's go inside and check it out. So we've got a couple of shocked oysters already and we've got Sue with us, the master shocker here at Two Black Sheep. Guys, we're gonna get Sue to show us the technique behind Shocking an oyster. So, say again? I'll give you the oyster tutorial. Here All we go. Oysters have a flat side uh -huh. and a cup side, so you want the flat side up. Okay, let me just. There's a spot called the hinge that you can get your knife into. Mm -hmm. And we're not using a sharp knife, are we? No, a shucking knife does not need to be sharp, it just needs to be very strong. Very strong. Oh, I can see the thickness of the blade there. So then what are you doing at this point here? Just moving so the... top the... shells come off, you separate mm -hmm. the muscle, and then you just <laughs> ease the muscle off the bottom. Make sure there's no little bits. Mm -hmm. And you want to keep all that nice juice in there too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, that's one of the best parts. <laughs> okay, super. We're going to do one more, guys. So here we go. And I guess if you're doing this at home for the first time, you'll probably put like a towel over a hand or something. Just Absolutely. To... <laughs> you need to protect your hand. We're dealing with a professional and you here, guys. You definitely do not want to use a screwdriver. And because you do not want to a use a screwdriver. Kind of I can tell you, I used a screwdriver before, and I probably still have the scar in my uh, my hand <laughs> as proof. In a while, you get a little bit of shove. Mm -hmm. Easy to just cut it out. And we're all ready to go. So we got some lemons here. I can see some lemons. Maybe you can tell us what else we've got here. We've got lemons. We've got a cucumber and shallot mignonette. Mm -hmm. Some cocktail sauce. This is a lovely local hot sauce made in Hamilton. Okay. Awesome. Now the cocktail sauce that is made right here at Two Black Sheep, right? Right here at Two Black Sheep. And this is your creation? It is my creation. Well my done. Grandma's, <laughs> <recipe>. <laughs> grandma's recipe. So guys, we're gonna dive in now. We're gonna try a couple of these oysters then. I'm gonna do a little Caribbean something with them. So guys, we're gonna go in now and see how these are actually prepared with all these special sauces and stuff like that we got here. So my favorite way to eat oysters is just plain. Actually, before you do, you were telling us something about a variety of oysters we yep. have here. There are three different oysters here. Mm -hmm. We've got, these are Shigoku's from Washington. These are French Kiss from New Brunswick. And these two here are Marigamesh from Nova Scotia. Look at that guys, right here in Hamilton, we have oysters coming in from different regions of North America. Boy oh boy, <laughs> it is amazing. So now you can tell us basically what we're gonna be doing here now. Well, uh, for people who are new to oysters, I always recommend a little bit of lemon, mm -hmm. so that's to cut through the brininess of the oyster, so it balances it out. And this has become very popular, it's a cucumber and shallot mignonette. People tend to eat the whole jar, jar after they've tried a little bit on an oyster. This is so reminiscent of um, what we call oyster cocktail down in the Southern Caribbean. It's not even funny. I was going through, well, pretty much steeping, uh, stealing a sniff out of this wonderful um, oyster cocktail sauce that you made there. Boy, oh boy, does it bring back memories. So there we go, guys. Yeah. I'm going to give this a try. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. My boy Mark Bean is who I'm a wicked channel on YouTube. He always does the mmm. But I'm giving you the one mmm. That is that is some wicked stuff here, guys. Two black sheep oysters. You gotta come check it out. Mmm. That is super. Yeah, on these oysters here, we have the classic combination of cocktail sauce, horseradish, and lemon. Mm -hmm. And then this little shigoku has a bit of the cilantro and garlic sauce from Dawson's Hot Sauces. Okay, I noticed earlier you were doing the thing with the, the spicy stuff uh, over here. Yes, the horseradish. Horseradish. I guess that's it's one of those like condiments. If I came in here and I wanted, so even though these sauces were on here, I can add my uh, uh, more. Absolutely, stuff all our oysters are served with a selection of sauces on the side, mm -hmm. some fresh grated horseradish and lemon. Oh, well done. So let's let's tuck in there. That's what the Brits say, right? The Brits say tuck in. <laughs> let's tuck <laughs> in. These oysters tend to have a flatter, mm -hmm. flatter shell, so a shallower space for meat, so it's a bit thinner, a little bit brinier, mm -hmm. a little bit more of a mineral taste. West Coast oysters have a deeper cup, meatier, uh, meatier meat, <laughs> more dense meat, and a very distinctive cucumber, honeydew melon uh, finish. Yeah, um, this is the one from Washington that I tried, right? Yeah. That one was, it was meatier. 
Uh, oysters delivered four times a week. West Coast oysters are flown in. East Coast oysters are trucked overnight from Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI. So we're in the middle of Canada, basically, Ontario, and we're getting fresh oysters all week. All week. Guys, too. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. So I'm gonna tuck into the one with the the horseradish now. I Wish got my guy here, Greg. Greg, hey, tell man. us a little bit, man. Talk to us. Hey, buddy, listen. If anybody wants to check out the food scene in Hamilton, check out HamiltonMaine.ca. Thanks to my friend Aaron at Two Black Sheep, Ralph Scallion, and the Alex. And special thanks to Sue from Two Black for sucking us some amazing oysters. Check it out. Be good. Peace. Much love. <laughs> My boy has island blood in him, you know. He he hang yeah, out. Yeah, he yeah, grew yeah. up. He grew up with a Bajan. Him and his Bajan boy yeah, mm, yeah. trouble. Chris, yeah. Chris, here, uh, we're not food at FAQ today. We're um, cooking with Chris, but we didn't cook. But we saw how to treat oysters, how to put them together, guys. You gotta check it out. Two black sheep. Have a good one, guys.